So welcome on C-squared. On this video clip we're going to talk about solving compound inequalities. And there are mainly two types of inequality. One like this one, where we have the word AND, 2x greater than negative 10 and 9x less than 18. And we're going to see uh, another problem where the uh, connection word that connects the two inequality is uh, OR. But let's start with this one. The first thing divide by 2. X greater than negative 5. And for the second one, we have X less than uh, 2. I will strongly advise uh, you, if it's the first time when you solve a uh, compound inequality like that, or you uh, don't want to miss the uh, solution set, to make uh, a picture for finding the solution set of this compound inequality. What do I mean by that? Let's graph both solution sets for those two inequalities. This one, the first solution set, it shows us the number greater than negative 5. The second one shows us number less than 2. Okay, and uh, on this end, uh, compound inequality, Probably the best way to see the solution set is by drawing these two vertical lines and that will give you what they have in common because that word end means inter intersection, what they have in common. And if you notice, the solution set, the common solution set for these two Inequality is represented by the number that are between negative 5 and 2. So that can be written also in another way, in an inequality form. And in case you need an interval notation, Let's see the second one, the second type of inequality, the one that uh, using the word OR as a connection. Uh, the first part obviously is the same, we're going to solve each inequality. up with uh, x greater or equals 1 for the first one and x less than 6 for the second one. Very important the word or. And I will use the same appro approach. I will graph two number lines, for one for each uh, solution set, and then we'll see how we can get the uh, solution set for our compound in inequality. So these are the two compound inequality in this uh, graphical form. And now for finding the solution of a OR inequality, we really need, we have to put these two solutions together. The union, if you remember that term from set theory, we have to do the union of these two solutions set. 
And in this case, the union of these two solution sets is nothing else than all real number. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short uh, video click about compound inequality. Uh, thank you. And uh, don't forget, if you need more help, uh, you can come back on C-square and find uh, help. Thank you. Have a great day.